Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a makeup look that looks like a Celtic queen or an Arabic queen. I don't know. But anyways, I have something I really want to show you. It's my new Amazon page. I have added all sorts of things that you'll want to check out. We have clothes, shoes, jewelry, um, hats, and purses, and of course the scarves that I wear. For example, in this video, I am wearing, uh, in this bunch, the middle color, this beige brownish color. It's one of my favorite colors. They have other bunches as well. And let me tell you something. Most hijab stores sell one scarf for $12 or more. Here, we're getting three scarves for $12. In my opinion, that's a steal. So yeah. And then I've added clothes that I really think um, it's so cute for modest wear. For example, these long sleeve bodysuits, they're so simple. Literally, you'll put it on put your pants and it'll look so cute with the high-waisted pants especially and throw a cardigan or kimono it'll look really cute and of course here's all the makeup that I use and recommend most of the products that I've used not only in this video and my other videos as well you'll find it here and there's some jewelry items that I think um, you should check out so yeah it would mean a lot to me if you shop on my page let's begin I'm using the Estee Lauder double wear foundation in the shade desert beige and I'm going to use the real technique brush to blend it in and I'm going to get back to you when I'm done blending yeah next I'm taking the Laura Geller fake concealer in shade light and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes and under my cheekbone area to highlight these areas and make them look more bright and I'm using the same brush as well. This brush I cannot live without. I use it to blend everything pretty much. Next, I'm gonna take this LA Color Matte Lipstick. I'm not sure what shade it is in, but it's definitely somewhere on the Amazon, my recommended makeup page. Um, this lipstick was something, a color that I was never able to wear. It was so pink and bright and it just looked too much. So I ended up just using it as um, blush on my cheeks and I love it as like a full coverage kind of consistency and I can't get over it. It's my favorite blush item right now. Now I'm using the Maybelline foundation powder. I believe this is the shade 220 and I'm just using a big fat brush to blend it all over my face. This helps give me a little bit extra coverage makes my pores look smaller and yeah next we have the it tan cc powder i'm using it to like bronze my cheek and forehead area since i already have the jewelry applied it's going to be hard for me to contour my forehead but no big deal and of course we're going to contour the nose for my nose this is where i like to contour i have quite a bulbous nose just a little bit so i like to focus at the bottom of my nose it's kind of complicated and if you use this really light purple color I have not used purple for a long time so I decided to go for this light purple lavender look I feel like it goes really well with those very pink cheeks I'm just also going to apply it under my eyes um, mainly this whole eyeshadow I want it to look like a light purple smoky color if that makes sense not like an intense smoke just like a light smoke and mainly I want to focus on applying on my above eyelid crease area. This is going to really mm, give me that natural look instead of doing all sorts of things on my eyelid. I like to focus on my crease area and that's about it. Don't forget to add shimmer in your inner corner of your eye. This step is really important in my opinion. I'm just using a tiny brush to get in those areas. And now I'm applying some mascara.
mascara on my eyebrows. I don't like to put too much emphasis on my eyebrows at the moment. That might change years from now, but right now I have not been liking product on my eyebrows. But for this look, since I have eyelashes that are really intense black, it'd be weird if I went with bare eyebrows. So yeah, we're just going to apply some product to the brows. This lipstick is from Sephora and uh, I don't know what shade it's in. I'm gonna have to write it down somewhere. It's kind of a, I thought it was matte, but it turned out to have like a glossy finish, which I'm not a big fan of, but I love the color because it's like this really light nude pink color. But anyways, here's the final look, guys. Do you guys see what I mean that it kind of looks Celtic and sort of Arabic? I can't decide. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. The products will be um, in the Amazon link and I will show you a video of where to find my products. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.